What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Um, it's been a little while since I've been creating any content. I know um, I've been trying to create like little short reels and stuff for you guys. If you guys follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you know the grind has not stopped. But Red Bull, make sure you guys have your daily Red Bull. Um, gets us energized and everything, getting us ready to fabricate some things. But today I have something different for you guys. Um, like I said, I haven't created any content in a while on my YouTube channel, besides for my short reels. If you guys follow me um, or subscribe to my channel and you guys been seeing all of my stuff, please give like, subscribe, share it, comment. I appreciate all of that. But now that we have some nice weather, um, you know, we've all been through December, um, snow and everything. It's been very, very cold in the garage. I work in a one car garage, so I don't really have AC or heating or anything inside of here. So kind of sucks. But um, we're getting some nice weather so that means my content will be coming back so today i want to show you guys something that i've been you know basically i've been working in the garage and everything i haven't been providing the videos showing that but if you guys watch me on my TikToks, my instagram and all that you see it but basically i'm learning more and more you know um practice makes improvement not practice makes perfect you're never perfect but practice makes improvement and i've been noticing that i need new tools you know stuff that can make my jobs easier um my work quality higher higher quality I should say so one of those things is back purge plugs so I'm gonna be showing you guys these are actually pretty expensive to get if you are if you were to get a kit from like a name brand company or something but um, I actually saw a TikTok video on a guy that he made these on a budget I don't have his TikTok name if not I will give you a shout out I apologize if you do see this then you kind of recognize it um, just say that, hey you were the one that made argon hey the inside of the pipe needs to be filled with argon sorry my son's playing with bubbles in the background but anyways um the reason you need to fill the inside of the pipe with argon is because the inside of the pipe does react to the oxygen that's inside there and it starts to create what's called sugaring so i'll try to get some google pictures or something and provide inside here for you guys can see the difference but when you weld stainless and you do a proper back purge the inside of the pipe should look like you welded that as well So the way that I used to back purge my manifolds and all my piping and everything before is poor man's back purge, which is aluminum foil. So the way that that works is you just grab yourself a big ball of aluminum foil, you ball it up, and then you shove it into a pipe, and then you hope you have a good seal. It works, and then sometimes it doesn't work. So in my case, no matter how much aluminum foil I stuffed inside here, um, I could never get a proper weld on the inside, and I did have some sugaring and everything, but. Um, what I used to do is I'll grab my die grinder and I'll clean up the inside so the sugar and doesn't interfere with the exhaust flow. But anyways, so the aluminum foil worked and it didn't work sometimes. And the reason is when you crumble aluminum foil, you still have cracks and everything inside there where oxygen can still get in and your argon can escape out. So the best thing to do is to have a purge or a purge block or silicone bung or whatever they call these things. Um, the only thing is, like I said at the beginning of the videos, these are very expensive. So for a whole, a whole kit of these, I believe I've seen online. Um, couple of purge bungs um, but they still withstand a good amount of heat 
I kind of melted this one right here because I wanted to test how, how resistant they are. So I put this inside of a V-band. Um, I was welding a hood dump for a Civic that I was doing. Anyways, I put this very, very close to the V-band, which is somewhere like that. And there's not much space inside there. So basically my weld is going on here. And I had my argon flowing and everything. I had the amps turned up so I can get a nice penetration on a thick, um, like a flange. So basically this was getting a good amount of heat in there. So I did start to smoke it out. Um, it did catch on fire on the inside. And when I pulled this off, the silicone was actually dripping on fire, but it wasn't much. I'm not sure if you can really see it in there, but it was just very, very little. So for the amount of money I spent on this, um, it's kind of hard to weld very, very, very close to it. Come like this flange right here, but for everything else, it does work very, very well. So I, I'm still going to continue to weld my flanges on here. It didn't interfere with my weld or anything. I still got a nice back purge, full penetration. I just sacrificed a little bit of the silicone, which is no big deal. Um, once I give you the prices of these, you'll have no problem with them. So I have um, three inch. So I have the part numbers for them right here. So for the white one is a three inch up to three and a half inch because they are tapered. So you can fit um, whatever size, size between three inch and three and a half inch. I will say though, it doesn't necessarily fit three inch. Um, it just barely does. And you kind of have to like squeeze it very, very tight to get it inside. Now on a V band, you know, it's a little bit wider than a three inch because you have that, that recessed inside there that you can see the little lip that your actual pipe sits inside. But it fits perfectly fine onto the, to the V band. But if you were to do it on the three inch pipe, you do have to squeeze it in a little bit, but it does seal perfect it's just a little hard to get in but the the white one is three inch up to three and a half inch and i'm going to show you guys the part number right here hopefully you guys can see that and then that's the name of it hopefully you guys can see that as well that's for the three inch now i got another one over here this one came in a couple of them this is actually the the one that led me to these this is the guy the one that the guy was making on tiktok so this is actually what led me to find all these other ones but these are all from the same company um they're high temp masking su um, supply like i said before i believe these are meant for like um, people who do like powder coating and stuff you just need a quick little silicone to block it off and they're going in an oven that's only going up to like 200 250 degrees so this one is uh one and a half inch up to one and three quarters so there's that there's a part number for there as well and the same name company and then I have one more, which is one at one eight seven five inch um, by two point two oh three um, two and a quarter and one and three quarters basically. Um, these only come single as well. The white one also comes single. I'm sorry, I had to order two of those. The red one comes in a pack of five. Um, this one comes in a pack of one, so I also ordered two of these. This is good for like my one and three quarter inch pipes. So I don't think I necessarily needed these because this one goes up to one and three quarters. But, you know, I wanted to test all of them. Um, I wanted to show you guys all the stuff that they have online. And they have a lot more sizes than just these. But these are the pipes that I, these are the pipe sizes that I use the most. So these are the ones I wanted to show you guys. Red Bull, don't forget. But anyways. Um, so those are my silicone um, couplers, whatever you guys want to call it. I don't really know a, a good name for it. I'm sorry, I'm kind of stuttering. It's been a while since I made the YouTube videos. But anyways, these are the sizes that I chose. Um, these I feel are gonna be what I use most often here in my garage. Next, what you're going to need is breathers. So these are, these are quarter inch, I believe, that I ordered. But these are basically like exhaust breathers, <laughs> exhaust flanges. So what they are is a quarter inch brass um, screw or whatever. And they have a whole bunch of brass balls on the inside. Hopefully the camera fo focuses on that. But anyways, um, what that is, is they stuff a whole bunch of little brass balls inside there. So dirt is hard to get in or any air is hard to get in, but it's easy for it to breathe out. So basically these are used like in pneumatics um, for like, air cylinders and stuff like that. These are like an exhaust um, filter, you can call it. 
So one, it, it kind of creates like a little restriction for flow to come out. So on cylinders and stuff, you can also use it as a slowdown. So you don't have an ex a cylinder that's extracting full and um, retracting and extending super fast. These can slow it down a little bit. But what we use these for is for a breather. So when you do back purge, you don't want it fully sealed neither because you have argon that's going in there. So what you're doing is you're causing pressure. So if you go to seal your last weld, out of the whole pipe and you have no breather what that argon is going to do is going to blow out your weld which i'll post a picture of that here as well but you don't want that so you want a little bit of a breather um you kind of want a restriction to it as well that way the argon stays pressurized in there and it's kind of hard it's kind of hard to explain it but when you're welding a piece of pipe and you're adding your filler naturally the filler wants to go inside of the pipe right so with the argon pressure actually helps keep the filler out so it keeps a, um, a bead profile on top of your pipe too so that way your bead profile is not concave but convex so it makes the bead look a lot nicer um stronger so it's kind of hard to explain what these are for but just you'll need these so i got these off amazon it came in a pack of 20 uh, pack of 12 sorry um i believe these were like 20 bucks for a pack of 12. so just go on amazon and type in um brass breathers for brass fittings stuff like this i'll put a link for all of these underneath the description but these are my breathers now for for my fitting so i can feed my argon into i couldn't find anything that i really liked um you can use whatever you want you can use a straight fitting or whatever but i wanted to get a little fancy with my stuff so what i did was i got these airline quarter inch airline fittings um these you'll put um screw into like an air tool or something what's nice about these is they have a valve on the back a ball valve so that it can swivel so the reason I wanted this is if I have a piece of pipe, I don't want my hose to be, you know, straight all the time and then I'll, I'll risk kinking the hose or something. So what these are, they have swivel, they're 100% sealed. These are rated up to, I think, 180 PSI. So it'll handle 5, 10 PSI of argon, no problem. So the only thing I don't like about these is that they were real, real big back here. You know, like I said, they're meant for like quarter inch airline, but I could probably put these to like lathe or something and just machine them down. Um, the reason is because I use five millimeter silicone hose on my regulator. Let me see if I can show you guys that here. I use five millimeter silicone hose here on my back purge regulator. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our drill bit. I live I, I live by Milwaukee, all my tools are Milwaukee. So I grab my Milwaukee drill bit. And then basically I'm just gonna grab one of the silicone couplers. And I'm just gonna try to go right in the middle. It doesn't have to be right in the middle. You know, it's not perfect as long as you get argon in there. And the key is to drill real slow because the faster that you drill through silicone, um, basically what silicone is doing is expanding around the drill bit so you're not actually cutting. So you wanna drill through it real slow. So I finally made it all the way through. So now I'm gonna speed it up. And when you speed it up, what you're trying to do is grab the, the sharp edges of the drill bit and try to scrape the walls as best as you can. I like to move it back and forth inside so that way I can grab as much. So now I have my hole drilled all the way through. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. guys so they're both drilled through all the way through so now I'm gonna head I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of my exhausts and go ahead and grab one of my feeds and these come in a pack of six I'm not sure if I said that earlier and then basically the hole sizes are a lot different this hole is a lot smaller than what this is because the drill bit is number 12 which is a lot wider than the threads on this on a quarter inch but like I said, the silicone likes to expand around the drill bit. doesn't actually like to cut that good. So if you can get a bigger drill bit, I'll probably go with like maybe a 13. But like I said, a 12 is pretty good. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to force this fitting inside there, try to open up the silicone, and then thread it in. So since it's a real tight fit, it's going to create a seal for me without having to use any glue or any silicone or anything like that. So let's go ahead and get that on.
All right, you guys. So she's screwed in all the way now. She's very, very tight in there. It was a very tight fit, but I wanted it that way. So now it's fully through. So now when I feed my argon inside here, when I plug in my silicone hose on here, I'll be able to feed my argon, no problem. So now the last one is to create the exhaust. So let's go ahead and force that one on. Might have to open it up a little. All right, guys, so we got it in, but it's a very, very tight fit, and I barely have anything to grab my fingers with. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my small, small adjustable wrench, snap on. Anyways, and I'm just gonna start threading it in. Let the brass teeth bite itself in into the silicone, and then you can tighten it. It's actually a very tight grip, like it's actually threading itself, so it's gonna get hard to spin at one point. So there we have our budget back purge bungs, black offs, whatever you want to call it. So both holes, my exhaust, and my feed. So let me do one more with you guys. Why not? This one should be a little bit easier because it's not a full um, silicone. It's actually recessed on the inside, so I don't have to get the one wall. Let's go ahead and do that. These are the one and three quarters to two and a quarter. here silicone everywhere so let's get that out the way again let's do brass fittings let's do another feed oops these are soaked in oil so they don't rust i guess so they're kind of slippery but let's do our exhaust And then grab our adjustable wrench, tighten that in. Beautiful. And last but not least, our feed. Okay guys, so for the white ones, these are sold singles. So those are priced at $9 each. Okay, so I ordered two of those because you need your feed and you need your block. Next is going to be my blue ones. So my blue ones were priced at $8 each because these are also sold singly. So these were $8 each. Uh, the red ones are sold in a pack of five. 
those are priced at ten dollars for five then my brass exhaust breathers those are a pack of 12 for eleven dollars and last but not least my quarter inch airline swivel fittings not the regular fittings these are you know a little fancy if you want to call them these are a pack of six for seventeen dollars so total on all of my fittings, my bungs, my my silicone um, couplers, or whatever you want to call them, I spent seventy-two dollars. So I am able to do three-inch pipe to three and a half-inch pipe, uh, one one and a half-inch pipe up to one and three-quarter, one and three-quarter inch pipe up to two and a quarter inch pipe. So I can do all of those pipes. I can have maintenance done on any of them if they were to break or whatever. And these came in a pack of five, so these melt. I have a couple of extras. All of this for $72 compared to buying a name brand company. But I hope you guys enjoy. Um, glad to be back. And I will see you guys on the next one.